Now our next speaker will be Mr. Krishna Markande, Principal Architect in Forces. Mr. Markande has been has uh, been around for 14 years in software industry with a software industry experience, including involvement in architecting and designing business needs of customers by providing efficient software solutions of varying scale and size. As a principal architect with Infosys, he is heading cloud engineering services for engineering customers with Infosys. And today he is going to talk on how efficient is a cloud for the challenges of media services. Please come in, sir. Uh, cloud Connect for giving this opportunity. And also I would like to thank uh, one of my colleagues who helped in this uh, presentation and as a speaker. Uh, I think earlier two uh, uh, speakers talked about keeping you people busy or awake after the lunch, but it's more challenging for me because still we have not taken tea break. So still let me try uh, how best we can do. Uh, one good good thing is uh, uh, we are not really talking about some of the products or very, very specific products. Here what I am going to talk about is more on uh, specifically in the media and entertainment space. Uh, how the cl how cloud can be adopted or can be leveraged much more better uh, without, without really uh, taking more generic concepts and what are the available options we have from uh, public cloud or uh, any other uh, things. So, so I will talk about more consideration points, learnings, best practices. So uh, we will see, uh, then we will uh, leave it open for question and answers. Yeah, mainly uh, we can see that uh, there are multiple aspects of media. So as I said, so this uh, what we are going to talk is uh, I think uh, some of you who has uh, attended uh, the keynote one. So there, there are uh, do you want to be the dog or the tail? I think it's important to leverage cloud in a much more effective way for your business rather than trying to uh, leverage cloud from some of the characteristics or the, the driving factors what we talk about. So we need to intelligently decide uh, what are those factors you would do, you would like to leverage and how efficiently you would like to uh, uh, pick up some of those uh, features available as part of the cloud platform uh, providers. So we can see that there are a lot of uh, uh, media related uh, or video related uh, things you can uh, take like Netflix where you can see the uh, aspects of like uh, uh, video streaming and other things then movies kind of more on the entertainment side then you can see more on the uh, user group or the social side on the Flickr or uh, Facebook kind of thing then there are other aspects on the other verticals like in the retail the aspects of media is in different way than in the healthcare we'll look into some of those in the uh, going further how we can leverage cloud for some of those other industries also as part of the media and cloud uh, together. So you can see that there are a lot of uh, uh, high volume of content over the internet uh, the which has to be stored. We can see that what, what are some of our industry uh, leaders talk about that. Maybe if you see that from uh, Microsoft, we can from the Azure, uh, the vice president from Azure platform, we talk about like about 30% of the internet bandwidth is being used for mainly for uh, or the internet is used for media related stuff which can uh, expect it to grow about 80% by 2015. That shows that the volume of uh, the content being uh, used over internet uh, how, how exponentially it is growing. So it's important for us to put a right uh, uh, approach to leverage cloud uh, for that. Then uh, the, the, another uh, from uh, streaming media which is uh, one of the recognized uh, this one we can see that from the last 12 months the uh, all aspects you take any dimensions so one is average viewing rate multiplied by uh, two times so same thing average bit rate two times and even the average number of viewers are again multiplied then if you see the aggregation of those all those media related eight times this from the past one year this trend is going to uh, continue further also so that's why it's important for us to look into these factors and see how best we can provide the quality of those services to the end, end users and the end, uh, enterprises. If you see the consumer trends, there are uh, multiple uh, aspects. Like one is, uh, we see that consumer 
end users bandwidth consumer bandwidth is increasing so when the, when you have the high uh, uh, internet connectivity speed it's important to leverage on the cloud uh, uh, infrastructure side or more on the compute side and give appropriate uh, user experience and other things that's a uh, minimum expectation from the uh, consumer side similarly the, the if you still look into the end user devices there are multiple uh, aspects multiple devices like it may be you are uh, if you if you go to the media again apart from just the pc and uh, uh, mobile or the smartphones there are multiple aspects again smart tv is coming into picture then there are dvrs and other lot of other solutions so the multiple device endpoints are increasing then it's important to consider that factor the consumer trends then you have uh, uh, like the high definition streaming is again becoming normal like over 3g 4g so you, it's important to as, uh, consider the aspect of how do you stream those kind of high definition which is very uh, expensive or like 3g 4g kind of bandwidth and how do you even uh, stream the sound uh, surround so, uh, sounds and other things which are technologically there are a uh, lot of uh, improvement happening in those research and improvement are happening on those aspects then anywhere anytime the, that's again a norm like you take whether it's the enterprise users or social users it's it's like any anywhere anytime is a, a minimum thing expectation so like you do, you can take example of like iCloud or any other so you, you have multiple devices and accessing from anywhere anytime so then other thing is user group content so it can be due to social media like maybe facebook kind of content or it can be any other like icloud what we talked about you take the picture from the mobile smartphone and upload it to the icloud uh, i think those kind of things are like user specific content uh, is also increasing so all these are the consumer trends so what what it's important for the solution providers or the the technology providers to keep updated and the, the the expectation from the user is now the product life cycle it is like sinking so we need to be up to the speed and rather than looking into the current uh, consumer trends it's important to uh, uh, look for the future and be uh, flexible and adapt adaptable for, for the newer trends so that's why it's shrinking then traditional business models are not working like there are multiple like smartphone based all those lot of enterprise uh, solutions and other things a lot of analytics are coming into picture then shortening consumer attention so people are not happy with the uh, same thing so it's very fast it's changing so it's important to look into the future trends and be flexible and agile for newer uh, aspects so we we'll looked into the consumer trends now the how how it impacts on the technology side so is it uh, uh, easy or how, how how what are the important uh, complexity what are the high level at least complexities and the challenges we look in uh, addressing those kind of uh, uh, trends and the expectations from the consumer we see that multiple devices we talked about multiple uh, uh, people accessing that from different kind of device os platform and all so it leads into there already there are lot you then that that again becomes more complex to when you tar, uh, start targeting the mass user uh, like consumers uh, using multiple different types of devices and mobiles and uh, other things we talked about set top boxes we talked about smart tv and all it's important to cater to the multiple uh, encoding formats so there are uh, some trends in coming up uh, with the standards like h264 and all that's getting a little bit uh, matured and a lot of uh, uh, industry adoptions are there again like google webm also again uh, uh, getting picked up i think some of it's coming to few standards but still there are the complexity in terms of uh, maintaining and encoding into multiple formats so that you can uh, make money by catering to more number of uh, uh, consumers so that's one aspect and the technology side other aspect is we talked about like multiple os like you take iphone then android then here again take the browsers whether ie or so it's there the chrome or lot of platforms again platform differences and the, the device differences again comes into picture cross browser cross platform again leads into uh, comp complexity for us there are because of the rich internet application there are few advantages now you can narrow down into uh, set of options rather than developing your own media players uh, like uh, players and other things but still uh, again html5 is another as another good option uh, to narrow down into the options but still html5 if you take for the video you have the tag but 
the, it's not implemented or there is no standard saying that this is the format to be followed in uh, uh, all the uh, browsers or the devices. So that, that's not uh, standard video format or the encoding format has been uh, prescribed. So because of that each user agents or the providers are implementing their own codec and that leads into again complexity. When we de uh, implement that, we need to take care of those different aspects what is needed from each browsers and devices. Otherwise, you will lose those kind of the market segment who are using the, uh, your uh, the, uh, services uh, with those devices or the platform and you will be left out with uh, lesser uh, opportunities. So again, if you see again, um, rather than traditional uh, uh, streaming uh, options we have, so now the HTTP based streaming is also another important aspect which helps in some of those user experience and other things, trends what we talked about. So that, that helps in more on uh, uh, much more uh, caching near the uh, near the CDNs, what uh, content delivery networks and all. So that provides much more options on DVR options or more on uh, uh, smooth uh, uh, adaptive streaming and all. So there are multiple uh, technology uh, options. And if you see from the some of the cloud vendors or media, there are two things we, what we had uh, tried to list out. Mainly like if you see the uh, Microsoft side uh, recently uh, in April, May time, uh, Microsoft has come announced the, the comprehensive media services platform which helps in uh, media related services, take encoding or uh, uh, streaming and all other uh, uh, DRMs and all other aspects which are needed for you to develop media related uh, solutions. Be giving, providing more flexibility into either to use Microsoft uh, specific these components or the framework or to integrate with any other external. So th there are, the from the vendors or the platform side, there are few things happening. Then if you see again Amazon Cloud Drive and Google again on the music and video side, they are also having their own streaming services or the uh, uh, things are coming. So there are all, all, all kind of directions like right? technology is becoming more complex to ca cater to the more and more larger segment and again a lot of uh, uh, providers also uh, helping coming up with more frameworks and uh, developer uh, related uh, components. So let's look into the now on, uh, this online media services, how, how it's uh, relevant. So now, now we talked about like uh, uh, technology like media services, right? So now how it can be leveraged in uh, different industry segment. You take media and entertainment, that's that's the thing we talked about like Netflix or you took Hulu and lot of other kind of uh, uh, entertainment related or uh, video related things are there. So that's a, one, that's also one of the major proportion we can say uh, which is getting adopted on the media side. Then retail, again retail you see that all the surveillance kind of things, there are a lot of uh, us uh, business agility or the business improvement, efficiency improvement by adopting right, uh, right analytics of their video surveillance or what is archived for uh, improving the uh, your consumer behavior and other things. So that's getting adopted in retail. Then so if you are like conceptual and if you are already uh, in place, like healthcare again, remote patient management and uh, using the uh, high definition cameras, operations and viewing it from multiple uh, multiple hospitals or the, uh, reviewing it or providing feedback from multiple patients, that's also getting adopted. Then web te television and broadcasting like Tom, uh, Comcast and lot of other uh, cable providers and the web television providers are also uh, uh, leveraging, uh, is very applicable over in that industry also. Security surveillance, again, you take any enterprises or any uh, any other, even retail or everywhere, it's, it's very much applicable. There are a lot of uh, sub-segments or the applicability of this media, like only the encoding related. We'll look into some of those details, especially on the me uh, media on the security side in detail. So publishing again online you uh, online news channels and other things where a lot of video content is being uploaded either from the citizen by looking to the incidents and uploading a lot of videos and or it's, it can be like journalists who are uploading. There's a huge amount of video or the media content getting uploaded. So education services again for the corporate kind of uh, education, it's uh, hosted or the cloud-based uh, uh, video and uh, media kind of uh, education services are also very much applicable. There are, it's applicable in lot more other uh, industries as well.
So, uh, what is the latest thing like on the media on cloud? Like, if you see the, the adoption is, uh, uh, I won't say it's mature, it's getting picked up. There are a lot of very recent news, if you see a couple of them, like encoding.com uh, teams with uh, Dolby Labs. So, to make sure that there are, uh, as we talked about, there are a lot of research happening in uh, all these kind of uh, high definition uh, video streaming, then the surround, uh, sound related streaming and all. So there are this uh, tie up uh, between uh, like encoding.com and Dolby to provide, uh, bring high definition surround to the streaming videos. Then that's the recent one. Similarly, like Revision uh, 3 uh, replaces in-house encoding uh, and move, moves into encoding.com, which is the hosted one. So similarly, like Microsoft, we talked about uh, National Geography is again, they are uh, instead of the uh, in-house uh, archival, they are moving to again Amazon, uh, sorry, Nirvanix, another hosted archival and uh, backup uh, storage network uh, provider. Similarly, like Comcast again coming up to, uh, with uh, new streaming video surveillance products. So, there's a there lot of tie up and a uh, lot of vendors coming together and uh, making it uh, leveraging cloud uh, very much uh, in this uh, area. So, what are the market forces or the driving factors for, uh, especially in the media services? Now, let's uh, forget a little bit on the verticals. Now, as a uh, media services, so what are those driving factors? So, media business is dynamic, like as we talked about, some of the entertainment or other things are need a lot more uh, flexibility in terms of uh, the infrastructure, or it can be to change the uh, change the kind of like uh, flexibility we talked about the solution and other things. It's very you need a uh, very adaptable business framework uh, and uh, digital infrastructure for that. Then we talked about Nielsen's law of bandwidth, like the the bandwidth is like every year, if you see like 50% it's increasing, then then equally like 60% of the uh, compute power is also increasing. So unless we have the right solutions for giving better user experience and uh, the quality of the services. So it's very, very difficult to uh, keep the, the, the consumer on, our, uh, on the service provider side. So it's very important to have uh, uh, over the top and like anywhere access and other things also along with the bandwidth. So similarly, like return on investment, like we would have, I think, a lot of cloud um, uh, uh, solu uh, sessions, we would have talked about that. It's important to like look into the capital, operational, and cost benefits and uh, uh, analyze this return on investment. So that's another factor, like rather than uh, investing huge on the encoding related because and storing those kind of number of formats and other things, which needs huge uh, capital uh, cost, it's very important to leverage uh, cloud kind of, uh, cloud. Uh, uh, options, so enhance the consumer experience we talked about and also we saw that, that the, even the earlier uh, session uh, we saw that the various uh, within India like about one point uh, only 3.1 percent of uh, users have got uh, internet connectivity whereas more than 50 percent, 54 percent people have the mobile connectivity. Unless you penetrate into that kind of mobile audiences we, along with this, this kind of video and other options by uh, uh, coming up with the proper encoding formats and supporting for those uh, platforms and the, the browsers and all, it, we will be losing a lot of money over, um, uh, over the table. So th these are the important aspects. So let's, uh, in the coming slides, let's see how cloud can help in addressing some of these uh, driving factors. And the, some of the challenges, again, to summarize, uh, within in the media services, there are like technology innovation uh, and the media, uh, technology innovation on the media and devices. We talked about like uh, devices are becoming much more intelligent and a lot of uh, the, the advance in the technology in terms of bandwidth and other things. So the what it's causing is the more and more number of codecs are important and it needs a huge amount of compute power. So that's what we talked about the infrastructure need. Similarly, uh, agility we talked about like you need to be scale up and you need elasticity and other things. Uh, these are the important aspects, then the growing consumer demand uh, anywhere, anytime and uh, any channels. So I think this we saw in the earlier slides, how it helps is the important characteristics from cloud like scalability and rapid elasticity. That's where you will, your return on investment and uh, uh, your cost advantage is there. Uh, other thing is anywhere access we talked about. So rather than having your distributed, uh, uh, distributed data centers, it's important to have ubiquitous network access where your cloud providers will have the, their own data centers all over the spread across geographies. That will help in providing much more uh, 
uh, uh, uh, anywhere access and you will have the CDN and other things contents uh, specifically in those users uh, specific data centers or the geographies then on demand self service like you can keep on increasing like during Christmas time or during New Year so whenever you need you have flexibility to uh, sell, uh, provision your resources self and uh, you will have uh, get rid of some of the operational efficiency like upgrading into the newer storage and other things because we talk about a lot of codec and storage requirement and that that leads into some of the uh, operational aspects like because providers taking care of them that's where we can see some of the uh, top uh, 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 top companies like uh, national geographies we saw then uh, new york times a lot of them have moved to uh, the cloud uh, providers uh, instead of having their own data centers so I think uh, we don't have much time. I'll just to see wh what are the important things. Like we see that on this, uh, all the different on the media side, online movie distribution. There are examples like Netflix and Google Music. Transcoding again, uh, it's a hosted um, uh, this one. So encoding.com. So video analytics and this. So I'll just uh, wrap up in one minute. Yeah. Uh, so these are the different adoptions we can see so on video archival, media content, video analytics. So all these are different aspects which you can see a lot of adoption already in the place. Then these are the high level components we talked about. I think this content will be shared. I don't have time already. I think uh, uh, I'm running out of time. So there are multiple aspects we talked about transcoding, streaming, analytics, security and application. This is the high level architecture looks into picture. Then there are some best practices we talked about. Uh, it's uh, architectural aspects and some of the important aspects from as a best practice like having more on uh, uh, scalability aspects and other things it's uh, all are some of these are generic architectural consideration but on the when you move to cloud what are those additional aspects like some of the aspects like stateless may providing self scalable and relational non relational and other things so I'll uh, yeah with that I'll uh, with that I will I don't know whether we have time for any question or answers. How do you see this uh, working out in an Indian environment where the even though we people, there are a lot of mobiles, right? But the net connectivity on those mobiles is very limited. People either are still using GPRS or Edge, right? Not too many on the 3G or 4G as of now. So how do you see that playing out in the Indian market? Yeah, I think on the mobility side, again, if you see like Reliance is again started uh, 4G uh, implementation and other things. I think it may be a bit slower, definitely. So, but th there are a uh, few uh, uh, options, the products uh, in the market available when there is a lower bandwidth. So uploading and uh, streaming uh, the, to help some of those like uh, we, we have some of the uh, uh, products which helps in cutting down and compressing and uploading in as a bits and pieces. So th that can be leveraged in some of the specific cases if uh, we have to uh, address the lower bandwidth uh, cases. But usually that destroys the user experience, right? So no, adaptive streaming is uh, there, so which helps in uh, user experience, taking care of, depending on the network bandwidth and the device and other things. It it will have the different set of uh, compression and different uh, archival which gets streamed for specifically for those bandwidth and the devices. That will be uh, that will not reduce any user experience. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much, sir. Now. I would like to um, present a moment to, to serve as a vote of thanks. Thanks, everyone.